What's cracking? It's me, Pixel, and I finally return with a ration review. Yes, I've been gone for about a month and a bit, uh, mainly due to me being ill, uh, but now I finally return, and today we're checking out another British operational ration pack, and this is Menu 10. Now, I have done Menu 10 in the past, uh, the video is no longer available due to it being very unprofessional. Uh, not that these are any better than these videos, but uh, yeah, I did do this uh, ration a while ago. It was the first British ration I ever did get, uh, but the video was a bit, you know, trash. So I thought, hey, we picked this one up. It's complete, it's intact. Why don't we go ahead and do a revisit? So that's what we're doing today. Uh, and as you can see, all the stuff in the box, it's got your burn, prep, burn pit procedures. Uh, don't burn it there. It's got all the information on the side there. Your target card in the bottom. This is all intact, usually, or where I used to get my uh, British rations, this whole bit would be ripped off and it had been cut up inside. So let's go ahead and open an intact British 24 hour operational ration pack, menu 10. So I've got my little list there. Let's see what we get. And first off, we have our cola flavored drink powder with sugar and sweeteners, a beverage powder type raspberry, a raspberry tube of jam, Andros there, our accessory bag, we'll get into that in a second. And just looking at this, it's pretty much identical to the one we had before, but hey, it's a revisit, we're doing things right this time. We got a hot chocolate flavored drink type mint, a tropical flavored drink powder with sugar and sweeteners, a Beyond the Beaten Track fruit flavored energy drink powder type orange, black currant flavored boiled sweets, very nice, a pack of tissues, a sesame bar, Oh yeah, we got a cinnamon bun shelf stable from Bridgeford. We got a apple and peach fruit explosion. We got our cheese oat biscuits. We got a bag of roasted and salted peanuts. And we got tuna and light mayonnaise. Pretty nice. A little bottle of hot diggity dog hot original pepper sauce. We got our sticky toffee pudding. Our meat sticks and rice. Pretty cool. 300 grams, a pretty nice portion there. Uh, we also have our Moroccan, uh, Moroccan style bean stew, a spiced tomato stew with cannellini beans and chickpeas. And then the last thing in the box is this little uh, Ministry of Defence questionnaire thing, uh, which in every ration, every British ration I've had before, those are taken out. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get this all organized. All right, so that's our ration. So it's a pretty big selection of food. Uh, let's just have a little re rundown here. We've got our chocolate flavor, uh, hot chocolate flavored mint, tissues, sauce, sesame bar, peanuts, tuna, our cinnamon bun, our meat sticks and rice, Moroccan style bean stew, sticky toffee pudding, our energy drink and all our drink mixes there. We've got our little bit of jam, which is pretty nice, and our uh, blackcurrant flavored Boiled sweets. It's pretty much the exact same ration. In fact, everything is identical to the first version of this I had. As I say, the video is no longer available. I'm making it available. It's just not a very good video. And while we've got this all out, why don't we go ahead and check out our accessory bag here. All right, so let's see what we've got. First off, we've got mint flavored chewing gum, English breakfast tea, one of those great big British spoons. Got a Dewey Egbert's coffee, a Nescafe coffee, two antibacterial wipes here, alcohol free which is pretty good, we got a Typhoo tea, six water purification tablets, four creamers which is pretty nice, and then we've got four sugars, some matches and a striker strip. So all in all, pretty Cool. Okay, so this is what we're having for breakfast. We've got our cinnamon bun, our sesame bar. We're gonna check out maybe two or three of these boiled sweets. Got our English English breakfast tea, sorry, and our energy drink mix uh, type orange. First off, let's go ahead and throw the tea together. That mug was very hot. That's why they've got handles, kids. See, I've already got our hot water, nice and ready. It's not boiling, but not freezing cold. Here's our tea bag. 
Really nice smell coming out of that. Just leave that in there. And we're also going to throw in... Well, actually, we'll leave the uh, sugar and stuff until that's ready to go. And we've also got our orange energy drink mix here. Which calls for 500 mils of water. And I've got just about there. I think I might mix it a little strong. But it's the morning, so... Well, it's not actually the morning, but it's the morning. So we'll go for the energy drink. We've got our old friends. The American MRE Spoon. Give that a little stir up. It's got a very weird orange smell. It's like... Uh, Terry's chocolate orange. That's weird. That's what it smells like. Or matchmaker. Matchmakers is it what they're called? You know those long chocolate things you get around Christmas and they're like biscuity stuff inside. They're all crispy and stuff. And you get them in orange. I don't know. You might know what I'm about. We've also got our sesame bar here. I'm just checking this out because I don't really know. I can't really figure out what other meal it would go with. Maybe the tuna. Oh no, I tried that last time, it didn't work. So it's very sticky, it's very shiny. It looks like it's three, but uh, trust me, you're better just eating it like that. Now uh, we've also got our... Now these I absolutely love. Alright, so yeah. The boiled sweets, they are absolutely fantastic. Like these are probably some of the best fruit flavoured boiled sweets I can ever talk about. Like these are so very good. And I know that from past experience because I've had loads of them. And then finally we've got our cinnamon bun. Uh, looks pretty good. Oh, it smells pretty good. Take that off of there. Mmm, that smells really darn good. Really nice cinnamon in there. It's nice and soft. Let's just... Oh yeah, you got your filling in there. That's pretty darn nice. Alright, so what should we check out first? Well, first off, let's check out this sesame bar. And I think it is, it's literally just some sesame seeds. And what is it that holds it together? I've forgotten. It's sesame seeds, maltose syrup, and sugar and honey. So it's pretty darn sweet. So a really good high sugar content in this. Let's give it a taste here. So yeah, that's a really good... Uh, it's a good sesame flavour, uh, as you would expect. It's literally just sesame seeds and honey. Uh, it's very, very sweet. Uh, very, very hard at the beginning. And then it becomes really chewy and sticky. It sticks to every part of your mouth that it can get to. Uh, very sweet, high in sugar. I think you, you know, you'd either be having that for the morning or with the tuna, but I've opted for the morning this time. I tried it with the tuna before, and it didn't really lend itself to the tuna flavor. So there you go. And let's try just a little bit of our cinnamon bun shell stable. Really good cinnamon smell coming off of that. It's really soft. It's quite dense. I'm not sure about the cinnamon flavouring. I don't taste anything right now. Maybe like a slight cinnamon, almost like, uh, you know, generic cheap jam flavouring. Uh, but it's kind of there. Uh, it's pretty nice. It will fill you up for the morning. Uh, or I hope it will. But yeah, it's alright. Give you a little close up of that. Mmm, pretty nice. So yeah, that's a very good, it's very moist actually, it doesn't provoke thirst as much as I thought it would. It's, yeah, you know, it's very easy to break up, very soft, but it is quite dense. It is probably going to expand in your stomach and fill you up quite a bit. And while we're here, I'm looking forward to this. Let's check out probably my favourite thing in any British operational ration pack. Let's check out our blackcurrant flavoured boiled sweet, if I can ever get out of the packaging. There we go. Let's check this out. I just got hit instantly with a kind of strong, kick you in the face blackcurrant flavour. That's really good. Wow, the flavouring in these is fantastic. It, they're so good. I would wager if you uh, dissolve those in some hot water, 
or dissolve the few, you'd get a really good uh, blackcurrant flavored drink. That's absolutely delicious. I'm still eating it, but they're so good. Uh, I'm gonna have one more for breakfast. I'm gonna save the rest because they're just they're just that good, you know. So yeah, those blackcurrant sweets they're just so just so fantastic. They are delicious. They have a beautiful flavor. They're natural. Uh, they're just very very good. And next, let's check out our tea. Try and get every drop of tea out of that bag. So yeah, our tea looks pretty good. It's been uh, brewing for a while, so let's give this a little taste without cream or anything right now. Yep, it's uh, it's strong. It's a good tea flavor. It is English breakfast tea. Uh, not to my taste. I do prefer having a little bit of this and a little bit of that in there. Just because I like things a little bit more sweet. But you do get the option because you have got that much creamer and uh, sugar in there. So let's just give that a stir now. So let's go ahead and give that a taste now. It's good. It's tea. What more can I say? Delicious. And finally, let's check out our orange energy drink mix. Complete with spoon. No, I'm kidding. Let's give this a try. You know, that's good. That's strong. Very good orange flavoring. It almost tastes like an energy drink. You know, one of those like 25p cans you get out of uh, Nisa Local or something, I don't know. But it tastes pretty good, very refreshing. Uh, yeah, filled with energy, absolutely delicious. Fantastic. So, but yeah, that's it for breakfast. Pretty good meal. Uh, we'll see what happens at lunch. Come with me. And you will be in a world of getting my cup of tea.